You're right, guys. What up? It's Capex here, and I've got spots all over my face. As you can tell, there's no Skate 3 gameplay. It's just me looking at my monitor, which I'm looking here for at my monitor, even though my camera's here. But we're looking right now at the Skate.ea website through the history of it, and I'm using this on the like, the Wayback Machine, as you can see in the top left. It says Wayback Machine. My friend Lint, he told. Uh, well, Oh, as you can see from this video, I was going to try and do it here. That Cookie Monster one, some guy made that, I can't remember his gamer tag. Actually, let's go on the Skate.ea website. You might be thinking, Cowplex, how the hell are you going to do that? Webcam, where are you? And rip, my face cam is gone. Well, why don't I do this? Wait, try, oh god, that's something different. Why is my face cam not working? Face cam. Hello? But I kind of had an issue with my face cam just starting to disconnect for some weird reason. But then my friend Lynn said, hey, just be trying recommending it as well. So shout out to you, Lynn. Love you. He said, hey, just like try and react to like, the old website if you want. I think that's what I'm going to call it. I have no clue what I'm calling it. But yeah, this is the old Skate.ea website. This is from what you're seeing right now is Skate 2. And I don't think it's meant to look like this because if it was, it's all gone to shit. <laughs> I don't think this is meant to say it. Like, I think it's meant to look different than this. March 2009. Could Chuck handle... Chun Li, Chun Li's man hands. What? Untitled. Fat, drunk, and stupid. There's no way I'm going to li live through this, son. Skate, skate, custom graphics creator contest official rules. Wow, they had graphics contests. I wish I could do that. Uh, they drop down arrows for OG skate, original skate, and all that. Wow. So I think it's meant to look something like this at the top here, but it's just this is all glitched out. Like this is the old skate kind of what it looked like at the top, which is like the same similar theme throughout. I don't. I think this is all fucked up. Like you can't even read that unless you highlight it. But this is like skate two. Skate one wouldn't load for me. It was just doing some weird shit. So now we get on to the beginning, the March the first, 2010. This is where. The skate website was getting ready for Skate 3, still got like Skate 2 DLC, Maloof Money Cup, that's in Skate 3 as well. Skate 2 custom gear, and, oh that's cool, that dude. It's like Skate 3, just telling you like, follow them on Twitter if you want, I don't know. And getting ready for the game and stuff. And this is what like, it used to be, like, it's never really changed for like three years. Oh, the nostalgia feels of this, it's, oh my god. Like you go, oh, these top menu, may, like, these were never I never really use these as much, these four here. But, but wait, wasn't there meant to be skate dot perks along here? Oh wait, this yeah, this is skate one, like they haven't got it all ready yet. So this is like getting ready for graphics creator and all that stuff. Like you can pre pre order skate three. That's in the pre order stages now. Now we've actually got the game. Featured partnerships, like some of them like the skate three official trailer. That's no longer there on the website. Like making of the game now we're playing the game like crazy. And this was back in twenty ten. That was seven years ago. And so this is like a year into Skate 3, so this is the website, and as you can see here from the top bars, there's different. So here there's new, main news, blogs, features, media, Skate Real, Skate Graphics form. And then here it's all changed red because now it's all released and everything. This is a year, this is when we were probably predicting Skate 4 ish. And the Sand Vampire Part just got released, and that was cool. That, that old DLC for Skate 3 was awesome. Skate Graphics, Build Your Own Park. So up here they had these, which we never, I never really use. I've never really used media either. Xbox Live for 560 Microsoft points. 516 Microsoft points, what? Yeah, then there was Skate.Create, this one I use profile teams, forms, where you, it's like the community for it was amazing back in 2011. This is where I started to like get progressive and progressive and it was awesome. So here we've got the Skate.Create, this is the tab I think most people use when there were, these are like the main tab, this is the main tab which everyone used and this is like, so if you joined the Skate community at like 2014, that was a year after this got shut down, then you won't have ever seen this website and if you want to, I'll put like a link in the description if I remember, but you just go way back machine and type up skate.ea.com and then choose the time between 2010 to 2012 ish and a bit into 13, like halfway through into April and then that's when it got shut down. Just Seeing this nostalgic feel, like nostalgia from this is awesome. Like these guys probably don't have these gamer tags anymore. You never know. Try and find them and send them a message if you want. And these are all like the like featured replays, which never changed from 2011. These are what the EA put on top. Does it still play? Oh my god, it still plays! Can I go full screen? What? No way, I can do that. To be honest, back in 2011, that's pretty good for 2011 standards. Can I view other- can I look at this guy? Oh wow, dude, nice grind. Can I view other people's content as well? No, it's only the main one. This is the main issue with the skate. It is, like, it is kind of nice looking back at this, but the main issue with this is now it's like frozen. You can't do shit when you're just trying something new. And it would take you to 
something different. Let's see what else we've got. So I think there was photos next to that video tab. That was great. Like the featured ones never change, which is really annoying, but like they got featured, they deserve it. But at this time, well, at this time they still had support for Skate 2 graphics creator and the Skate 3 graphics creator, which is awesome, which I don't understand why they still can't support nowadays. It says it costs too much, which I'm like, no, it shouldn't do. But let's go on photos? Photos work? God, I swear to God if it works, I'm gonna, it's gonna be cool. Come on, photos. Oh. The photo still works, it's amazing. So we got, can I click on it to view? Okay, I, it's been really buggy at the moment. So here, yeah, as you can see here, go to skate.graphics2, that was for skate 2 right here. And then here was for skate 3, this is what people really got confused with, but I actually got confused at one point. I kept like, launching up this because this was the bigger one and I thought that was for skate 3, wasn't that? It was confusing. So this is like a main just custom deck. This actually looks quite cool. I think I sent that to my game one. And all you have to do is just make it as big as it possibly could and it will go all around the deck and it'll be like a custom deck. To be honest, some of these were awesome, like here. I can't click on them, unfortunately, otherwise it will just glitch out. But we've got Street Fire, this one looks cool. Darth Vader, that, that's cool. Cookie Monster, that, that one sent to my game. Elmo, Bigfoot, Oscar, Rhino. That one was awesome. I wish I sent that one over the Cookie Monster, but oh well. Look, I don't know why this one got featured so much. Free Weezy. It's not even that hard, so you just typed up choose the font and typed up Free Weasley and then uploaded and they got featured. So these people try to create their own custom skateboards and stuff. We've got hazards, that's just a hazard thing. I don't understand what this guy was trying to do here. But this was like the Photoshop for skate. Let's see what he said. Comment on it and everything. So I'm not going to go and click on all these, otherwise you will just go and I will crash it. But hang on a minute. I wonder if I open this. We got something. So this is what me and Lynn did. We tried to get up the graphics creator and this is how far we got. It would show this loading screen. This used to be the loading screen for the graphics creator and then it would start playing music and that would constantly keep playing and then you, you could just mute it and then you'd make your own graphic and have templates for you and everything. It would be awesome. But unfortunately, unfortunately I don't think it will load, which is a shame. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Skate.assets. Oh! I forgot about that. You could create your own stuff. Like you could create your own stuff and then put it in like a little ass, like a little gra it's like a little graphics creator thing, but you can give it to other people to then implement into their own thing. So we've got skate dot heart. Oh yes, I remember these parts. Fortunately these aren't gonna load and they're gonna look really shitty quality. Oh that yeah, this one's gonna this one loads. I don't know why I don't, this was like a realistic park, which was kinda cool. Here it's like a shark and it was kind of cool. I, I can't remember fully what it was. But then these ones I can't click on. Then this one I've got in my game, which I can preview. Well, these were alright, but I never got into the parks part. Current contest. See, so it had contests. Previous contests? Will that load? There are no contests at this time. Fair, fair. No contests are going to load. Which is fine. Graphics creator still loading. Now we get onto the, like, the teams part. This is the part of Skate 3 where you can create your own teams, try and like get to the top with your friends and everything. And superheroes were always at the top, as you can see here. That's their old logo as well. Superheroes are on point. Like, I remember in Hell This Truth, he's in... He's was in, or still in, I don't know, I'm not 100% sure. He's in the superheroes, or was in at 2013. And, oh god, this is 2013. This was like a couple of days before the graphics creator closed. But superheroes were always at the top. Like, they always say, I think they hit a billion board sales at the end. Even though the graphics creator, like, this website was shut down, you can still, like, connect through to your Xbox and all that. You can never send, like, graphics over and all that which i never figured it out until two days afterwards because i was i think on holiday or something i can't remember then we got ride skating there which and carnage would always be the featured team even though they're not here i think a featured team should be like one of the top three but carnage super superheroes are ripping up skate three what but carnage is there I'm so confused oh that's what b team said i think b team team run no but anyway look like these logos are kind of cool, like uh, I like the superheroes one, I, I like that one. I like the close, this close one looks cool, as well as Inglorious ba Bastards, that's a name and a half. And this is how many board sales like the community has got together, or who connected online. And people were crazy and all that stuff. Let's go, let's go on profile. So here's, like, every profile you can log in and all that stuff. But like, here you would see your skater and it tell you what rank you were in the world, how many board sales, your friends, and what team you're in, and what platform you are, because I was in the record. Let's see if what happens if I click log in. But now let's get into 2013. I'm going to show you what happened on the 22nd of June. Skate.ea.com got turned into what we all know today if you type in skate.ea.com which is when they took down the graphics creator for some ridiculous stupid reason which I think right now it would be booming if they still had it which is this. There's no point in me looking at this through the Wayback Machine when I've already got here. So this is what it looks like still to this day and it's been like this for the last four years. Yeah, this actually makes me quite upset and it'll take you like, here's the official site which you get to to do graphics create and stuff. And you click on it and it just brings you to the top. It just brings you to the top of the page. 
Twitch, that's awesome. Yeah, re reach your games, FIFA, FIFA, FIFA. Kill yourself. Like, FIFA is a... FIFA's boring. Like, I don't get why... Like, I can see why they want to release FIFA. They want to get, like, the that audience yet to find. They're releasing one every single year, which is fine. But what... I would just leave it for a bit. Like, do... When FIFA 12 came out, FIFA 12 and FIFA 13 weren't too much of a difference. And then FIFA 14, that was a bit of a difference. Because, of course, upgraded with hardware to Xbox One. So, I don't understand why they didn't just call it FIFA 12 and then kept it going. Or just kept... They called it with a year, which I can understand. But FIFA 12... Why don't they just do one and then just do some updates to it? And then, once they get new hardware or in the future release another one is etc 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 with this we haven't had one since 2010 that's seven years ago gate one that came out that came out in 2007 right so i'm back on my xbox actually playing the game for once because i was getting a bit upset how they removed the graphics creator just i really miss how creative you could be the skate graphics creator how creative people were actually that was like people put out some really really good designs especially with that like cookie monster that like all those decks there those are awesome the one with that skull especially with the replays the replays were awesome what people were doing and the teams like the community was so active and then ea decides hang on a minute fifa's the best why 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 would you not play fifa and i'm like because fifa's fucking boring as fuck like don't get me wrong it's fifa's fifa's fun to play with like friends and all that stuff like here and there but skate 3 is like addicting to me i love like I, i've been playing it since 2010 i've been playing online since 2011 11 because I didn't have Xbox Live. Actually, no, I, let me rephrase that. I may have had Xbox Live, it's just that I can play online because I set my age to my real age and at 2010 I was only 12. And you can only go online at 2013, I think. You can only go online uh, when you were 13 years of age, so it took me a year to wait until I could finally go online. Anyway, but speaking about creativity, there's like edits and all that stuff going around and all that. I, I try and, I, I'm trying to edit. I really want to learn like After Effects and all that. Yeah, but speaking about creativity, Cypress entered a competition. Uh, Cypress is doing a uh, enter the competition, which is done by Boost, if you want to check it out. I'm not sure by the when you see this. And he decided for me to be in the clip, like to be at actual but like he asked me to hit the clip because he said i just fancy you hitting the clip or something like that i can't remember fully the reason why so we hit it well, i hit it after a lot of redos and just a lot of just ugliness and he helped me out a lot because he's of course the better trick liner here between me and him and it came out really really well i love the edit i love it it's one of my favorites out there i put it on the bottom of my channel it'll be in the description and it'll be on top right here and i'll put it go show some support on that because that's absolutely amazing what he did and i hope he does well i think he will do really well with that edit i'm not gonna say he's gonna go first because i don't know what's out there right now but out of all the ones i've seen he's gonna be first <laughs> Thank you guys so much for support. I hope you guys will enjoy the video, which I'll be releasing for 5k. I, I feel like it's going to be something special. It's not going to be like the best thing in the world, but like, it will be quite good. See that? That was a bit better. That clip was better, but it's still short. I would like to have made it a bit longer. I like probably finished all the way around there or something, but I don't know. Over the platter, Jesus. And cue the outro on that.